video for all the curious minds, especially out there in the Caribbean, and for any person who lives in a climate where it's very hot. You know, um, maybe you have wondered or, you know, just thought, or maybe in the process of trying it out as well, of how to get an apple tree growing here. It is something that, you know, I thought that I should try because I thought, I thought it would be possible based on the information that I found on the internet. I looked at a couple of videos. Um, I noticed there was someone in Grenada and Jamaica who tried it out and seemed to be very successful. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try it as well. So this is an apple tree. And this is the Granny Smith variety. It is almost two feet tall. As you can see, it's almost two feet tall. And it's about six months old, just a little bit over six months old. About two weeks over that. And um, you can see the leaves is doing pretty well so far. I must say I'm quite impressed and I'm quite pleased with the results that I'm getting so far. This is not the first plant that I have tried to grow um, with the other seeds some of them did not come out you know they did not um, they didn't turn out too well some of the seeds died and some of the plants died the, the one I planted previously it actually got to about this height and it died which was quite disappointing for me you know because <laughs> you can imagine something like this which you it is not popular here this is not something that you see growing in the in the Caribbean often um, I don't think I've heard of anybody who's planted it here maybe they're keeping it under wraps I'm not sure but I'm just here to um, just to say you know that it is possible and if there is anybody out there who's living in a very warm climate I would like to try it I would say definitely go ahead and do so so for this variety what I did was I was lucky enough to get it from the seed. The, the root was actually, the seed was actually um, growing the root from the apple. So when I cut the apple in half, the, it was already there, growing inside the apple. So what I, I, what I have tried, because I also have a few that has grown the root. I have about two, of, two others. What I've done is I purchased the apple and I leave it for a very long time before cutting it or consuming it. Um, you know, giving it some time to, you know, um, grow that root in there. And I was successful with this one. This one had a root. And so I planted it. And um, I didn't put it too deep in the soil. And what I have been doing is that I have been watering it like once a day. I'm trying to keep it in in a location where there's not too much sun it does get some sun but not too much it mostly gets the morning sun but for most of the afternoon it's in a shady area as you can see um, I do have some other stuff that I'm planting as, as well but uh, just for now I have this one apple which has gone to gone up to this wonderful height and I am so excited about that so um, I have also done some pruning. If you could see here, I don't know if you could see here. So when it got to this height, although I think maybe the next one that I do, I'm going to wait till it gets a little taller. Maybe till it gets about this height before I prune it. But I pruned it here, and then I was able to get this extension over here. And if you could see, when it got here, I pruned it again, you know. Um, let me see, I also pruned it here, let me, let me see if I can show you, here, okay, and um, right here, and then what happens is when you prune it off, the plant, it actually thinks that you're attacking it, so <laughs> it's its way of fighting back, so it just starts to send out these shoots, all over the plant and um, it's a very exciting time if you could see here I have these 
uh, little sticks between some of the branches. The reason why I'm doing that is to encourage um, horizontal growing of the, the branches because from the research that I've done, it shows that the plant, um, when it begins to bear, the branches which are more horizontal tend to bear the most fruit. If the plant grows, if it's only growing upright, then you will get a lot of leaves and more leaves and fruits. And we're not looking for that. We're looking for more fruits, right? So I'm just training them right now. <laughs> and, um, yep, this is what we have. This is what we have. And it's six months old. So what I can do is that I can give another update in about um, in the next two months or so I can give an, an update as to what the progress is okay if you could see here this is another one this is from the gala apple variety and I actually put that in yesterday but the reason why it's already shooting out like that is because it already had the root Okay, it's actually, I had, the way I got it was, um, well, like I explained earlier, the root was already formed in the apple because the apple was there for so long. So, um, what I did, I placed it into the fridge for about two weeks, and then yesterday I put it in the soil. And this is what we have. So this is like a day old. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to give you an update on that as time progresses. So this is it, people. Um, so there you have it. Quite possible. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And I will do my best to try to answer. And give you updates. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave. This is my very, very first video. So, um, as I do update this channel, if you also hit the notification bell, um, as soon as I upload the videos, you will be getting the notifications and you can see what the progress is. Okay, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe.